Hi there, I'm Alex Guthrow, author and producer of the Moose Madness video productions on moose hunting and calling. You have just been watching an aggressive bull being called in with a shorter broadcast call using the calling horn on a windy day. However, this video, Tools of the Trade, is not about calling per se. This video is meant to give you some demonstrations on how we use some important tools when conducting our passive and aggressive moose calling routines. So sit back and enjoy. There are basically two main approaches to moose calling. The first approach uses passive techniques, where the caller pretends to be a cow moose and simulates the calls and other actions of the cow in heat to get a bull moose to respond and come to the call. The second approach to moose calling uses aggressive techniques. And here the caller pretends to be a bull and simulates bull grunts and other actions of the bull to either directly challenge bulls that are already with cows or to draw in other bulls or cows who become interested in the rut activity. These tactics are considered aggressive because you are mimicking a pumped up rutting bull and are often challenging bulls within their own territories in the hopes that they will come to fight what they perceive to be a challenger for the cow or cows in the area. Both passive and aggressive techniques will often bring in unserviced cows in heat as well. There are two main tools of the trade that I feel are essential to the moose calling process. The first is the moose calling horn, used in passive calling routines. The horn itself doesn't make any sound, but when making longer, louder calls, the horn acts as a megaphone, adding volume to a hunter's vocal call and giving it direction. As we shall see, another very important function of the horn is to hold and pour water as part of the calling process when simulating a cow moose urinating in the water. While many hunters still prefer the traditional birch bark horn, some excellent fiberglass horns such as these made by Casey Capling of Ontario, are much more durable and are rapidly becoming a favorite among hunters. The second important tool for the moose collar is a smaller moose antler, such as this one, or the shoulder blade of the moose, or scapula. The antler or scapula is used in aggressive calling routines by simulating a bull either knocking its antlers against a tree or raking small trees and bushes with his antlers. A larger beef scapula can substitute for the moose scapula. Let's first look at some passive routines other than cow calling and how the calling horn fits into these passive routines. When hunting around lakes and rivers, we often use water routines to supplement our calling. This involves mimicking the cow walking to and from the water, walking and moving about in the water, and urinating in the water. Combining these techniques with calling can result in deadly routines that can entice bull moose to respond and move in close to the caller during the rut. When simulating the cow walking in shallow water, with each step, simply move the foot forward a bit when lifting the foot out of the water, and then plop it back down in the water. When simulating the cow moving in deeper water, with each step, drag the foot sideways in the water to get more of a swirling sound.
We use the calling horn when mimicking the cow urinating in the water. First, simply plug off the mouth end of the horn with your fingers and fill the horn with water. Then pour the water out of the mouth end of the horn from about four feet above the water by releasing the fingers that were acting as a plug. As you see in this clip, I usually fill the horn twice in each urination routine. To simulate the cow moving to and from the water, we make very deliberate steps and purposely step on ground brush to make the sound of the cow moving on land. Also, about every hour or so, we deliberately break a larger dry branch or dead stick to get a louder noise. It should be noted that the stepping on brush and stick breaking routines are used in all our hunts. Now let's look at some aggressive routines other than simulating bull grunts and how either the small antler or scapula fits into these aggressive routines. A bull moose will sometimes knock his antlers against a tree when responding to cow calls. He stays out of sight and is a bit nervous. He is basically saying to the cow, I've come this far, now you come to me. We simulate this tree knocking to either attract a cow moose or to make a bull think he has competition from another bull in the area. I favor the small antler when knocking and it sounds like this. At other times, bulls will be more aggressive when coming to cow calls or bull grunts. And they come to the call site and rake bushes with their antlers to establish dominance in the area. The bull raking bushes or trees is basically saying, I'm ready to fight. You see dozens of bulls responding this way in my Moose Madness video productions. I favor the scapula for raking and I simulate bulls raking as follows. Both tree knocking and bush raking sessions should be followed by concentrated listening for responses. You have now seen how we use the tools of the trade when moose calling. Hopefully, the explanations and demonstrations will assist you in adding them to your calling routines. In the meantime, you might want to take a look at my new website, www.moosemadnessproductions.com. There you will learn that we've only scratched the surface here in this short video. Feel free to contact me with any questions you might have. All contact information is on the website. Yeah.